Seven tests were conducted under the Vela Uniform Series, including the only two atomic bombs to be detonated east of the Mississippi. A huge underground salt dome, located 21 miles southwest of Hattiesburg, Mississippi, was the home of two nuclear detonations named Salmon and Sterling. I was living in Jacksonville, Florida at the time. Of course, I was monitoring this since this is my old home area right here. A lot of my people lived here at the time. A lot of my friends still live here. At this particular site in the 60s and 70s, the Atomic Energy Commission did some underground nuclear testing. Salmon was the first of two tests uh, conducted at the same site in Hattiesburg, Mississippi, as part of the Vela Uniform Program. Significant measurements were taken in the seismic area to determine what kind of signals were generated by an underground test. Sterling, the second event conducted at the same location, was detonated inside the cavity generated by the salmon event. Um, they were looking at the issue of decoupling. The idea behind decoupling was that you would detonate the device either in an excavated cavity or one generated by a previous test to determine if that cavity would alter the signal. Uh, the seismic signal in some fashion. That was during the time when we were trying to verify with the Russians that we would stay within the limits of the test ban, that the test would be less than 150 kilotons. A television camera was lowered over 2,700 feet below the Mississippi landscape to record the effects of the nuclear detonation. The camera reveals an almost perfect sphere formed deep in the salt dome. Three and a half months after the test, the temperature inside the cavity is still almost 400 degrees Fahrenheit, hot enough to burn the paint off the surface of the camera. They said it seemed like the end of the world was coming. It looked like a wave in the ocean coming toward them. The citizens that lived around here, plus some of the technicians on site, tell me they were overwhelmed at the size of the blast. It was humongous. It was, it was a whopper. <laughs> 